Hey guys! So today I'm doing a requested video for Ariel's makeup from The Little Mermaid. Um, now I asked a bunch of you on Facebook and Twitter what you guys would like to see if you wanted the makeup look from the movie or if you wanted an inspired look and I pretty much got half and half. <laughs> So, I decided to do both. Um, the top part of my lid is kind of like how she had in the uh, movie. And on the lower lash line is inspired by her outfit, her tail, um, and everything like that. And of course I did the red brows and the red hair. Um, and instead of the signature red lip, I did a purple lip instead to kind of bring out more of the purple in my eyes. Um, I'm mostly using Pilly Cosmetics in this tutorial, which I will have a link below to where you can check it out. Um, and this amazing necklace, little tentacle necklace, is made by the wonderful Dreadfully Divine. You guys, check her out page below. She makes amazing tentacle jewelry and you guys should check it out if you like tentacle stuff or nautical stuff or anything like that. It's, she's amazing. It's like perfect. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'll get a close up of the look for you guys. It's neutral but it also has that pop of color so it'll fit really anyone's taste. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys later in all the tutorial. Alright, so I already applied a primer all over my lid and I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And I already did my brows because I'm going to be wearing a red wig. Um, you don't have to do this if you just want to do the actual makeup look, just do your eyebrows how you normally would. But, um, to get the red, I used the, um, <coughs> Starlux Lip Pencil in Tipsy, which is kind of like a corally red. And, um, I basically kind of outlined my eyebrows how I wanted them, and then I went over them with a matte red from my, um, Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, which your review will be up after this video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a white base just so the colors adhere a little bit better and they really pop. And I'm going to apply it not only on my lid and the crease and highlight, but also underneath as well. So I'm just going to just apply it wherever. Okay. The first color I'm going to use is from Pilly Cosmetics, and I'll have the link down below where you can purchase these. And the first color I'm going to use is called Passion Fruit. It's a really shimmery skin tone, um, peachy beige color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Pink. <laughs> And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. And in my crease, I'm going to use Max Wedge eyeshadow. Um, you can use any warm brown. You can barely see any in there. But it's in there. Um, and I'm going to take a fluffy tapered blending brush to kind of place that into my crease. Just to give the eyes some dimension.
and then using Lion Court from Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics. Huh. I'm going to add that as a highlight and I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush to apply that. And I'm going to add just a little bit more wedge into my crease, especially on the outer por portion. Now for um, the inner tear duct, I'm going to use Sharker Pills Lumi which is a really pretty white with a uh, blue teal duochrome and I'm going to use a teeny tiny little brush and I'm going to use it wet with just water you can use Fix Plus or any mixing medium you have I just prefer water and just get a small amount kind of mix it in the cap and I'm going to apply that on the inner tear duct area of my eye. This will help brighten up the eyes and kind of have that kind of watery effect. And I'm going to take my white eye pencil and just on the inner part, I'm going to line my waterline with the white and set that with the Lumi. And I'm just blending the Lumi into my lid. And kind of bring it up a little bit. You just want it so your eyes look really awake and bright because all Disney princesses have like the big bright eyes and they just look so awake and <laughs> cheerful. So the now to start the uh, lower lash line. I'm going to use from Pilly Cosmetics Greener on the other side and it is a gorgeous green limey color and I'm going to put that on the inner portion right next to the Lumi And then use um, laser from Corp Cosmetics for the outer portion. And I'm going to kind of flip the purple up into my crease just a little bit. And then also from Pilly Cosmetics, I'm using Maui Wowie. And 
kind of dark and gold. I'm going to add this in the very outer part of my lid. Kind of like the outer B. Just a very, very small amount. Because this color is really pigmented. Now, if you need to go back with any of the colors to intensify them, you can do that. For liner, I'm going to use my Love and Beauty Shadow Stick from Forever 21, and I believe this is just black, but it's like a big eyeliner, and just line from where the white starts, and just kind of cover the rest. And I'm going to do my top lashes water line, my top lashes, my top waterline, and liner. I'm using the e.l.f. Precision Liner and the um, Urban Decay Curling Mascara, and I'll be right back. Alright, and this is the finished look. Um, basically what I did is I did liner and mascara. You could add false lashes if you want. Um, I'm just not going to because I have a lot of mascara on and they look pretty pretty decent. Um so for the face I bronze with my Lorac uh tantalizer highlight and bronzer duo and I highlighted with the highlighter as well and I also use a little bit of Lumi on the very high the highest point of my cheek. Um, for blush, I use NYX Summer Peach Blush. It's a really pretty, dusty peach corally color. And for lips, I did a combination of um, the Wet Wild Color Icon in purple, the eyeliner. Then I went over it with NYX Lipstick in Castle was like a pinky purple color. Then I went over it with Max Lip Gloss in Nico, which is a really pretty purple um, with a silver sheen lip gloss. And that is the finished look. And I threw on my aerial hair because yeah, um, can't really have aerial without the red hair. But if you were to do this look, um, like I said, you don't have to do the eyebrows or anything like that. You can um, do your natural color eyebrows and then for your hair, just do like a beachy wave. Um, if you guys want me to do a beachy wave hair tutorial, let me know. I can definitely do that. Um, this wig just kind of came all curly and stuff, so <laughs> I didn't really have to style it that much except to just brush it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys have any requests, definitely feel free to message me um, here on my Facebook page, um, email, all that stuff will be below, and I will talk to you later. Bye!